Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to make a stepper card, and it's a center stepper card. So you're going to start out with a piece of cardstock that is seven and a half by eight and a half, and you're going to put it in your trimmer. This is the easiest way I've found to do it. You could do it without a trimmer if you wanted to. You could just do it with your X-Acto knife, but put it in your trimmer at two inches. And I've got my trimmer running this way so I can see where my blade is. Put it in there at the two inch mark. Make sure it's good and straight. Put this down. Now you're going to start cutting at two and one eighth. So the reason I've got mine to the side is so I can see on my blade right there on my blade and I can see that two and one eighth mark. If I turn it the other way I'll have to get my head in the shot so we'll do it this way. Two and one eighth so I'm just going to push it down and then we're going to go to seven and a half which is right here. So go all the way down to seven and a half. Okay then you want to lift your blade up pull this out from the back side flip it over so I just pulled it out and flipped it over, put it right back in there at that two inch mark. Bring your blade back up to the two and one eighth. And go down to seven and a half. So that is your two slits on each side. Now these measurements will be on my blog, but like I said, start at the two and one eighth and go down to seven and a half. Flip it over, start at two and one eighth and go down to seven and a half. All right, now you want to put it in your scoreboard with the eight and a half inch side at the top and your two and one eighth inch piece down here at the bottom. See this is the two and an eighth. This is where we came down to seven and a half. This has got a small little portion and this is a large portion. Put your largest portion down here at the bottom. Then you're going to score at two and one eighth just from where you cut over to where you cut. Right there to this slit. From that slit to that slit. And then you're going to score at four and one quarter all the way down, all the way across your card. And then at five and three eighths, which is right there, just from slit to slit. So just on the center part. And then at six and one half, just on the center part. And then at seven and a half. And that would be from where you cut to where you cut. Right there. Okay. So there are our score lines. See, that's that one's right on the base there. And yeah, I did go a little bit off there, but we're going to fix that. There we go. Let's see. There are our score lines. So we'll go ahead and fold this in the center to make our card. So that center fold is your card fold, of course, that goes all the way across. And then on these, you're just going to fold, you're going to fold back, and then you're going to go forward, and then back, and then forward. So you're just kind of Constantina folding them back and forth. And then just go in and burnish each one of them. Let's move our scoreboard out of the way. So that's what you have now. You see you've got your steps on the inside. And when you fold it down, you've got that. So what we're going to do is open it back up a little bit and we're going to embellish these sides. Now we're going to stamp just a little bit. I have a swirl stamp here. This is a little bit larger than my piece that I'm going to mat on there, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to let it go off on the sides. I'm just going to put it over a little bit in my Tim Holtz stamp platform. 
and stamp from there. And then I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use the Rosebud ink. And this is Memento ink. And I put it in here because this is an older stamp and I'm not sure how it's going to stamp but we're going to see. Yeah, I think we can stamp it again. That's the good thing about a stamp platform. You can stamp over and over. Don't have to worry about trying to get it back right in the same place. There we go. That's a good impression. So I like that. And now we're going to get our other one. And I'm going to try to make sure that I put it in the same spot. So I did that one. Okay. That should be right. I'm going to ink this up. And I am pressing pretty hard on this just because this is an older stamp. But you don't have to do this on newer stamps. This stamp is really old. I've had it forever and a day. So there are our mats. Now I have cut some side panels and these will go right here on the side. These are cut at, let me see one and three quarters by four and then these matte pieces are cut at one and a half by three and three quarters so we're going to put those on there just like that and again i will have all of these measurements on my blog so you don't have to worry about writing anything down and my blog link directly to this video will be directly below There we go. So that will go there. And that one on that side. Then we have a piece down to go down here and this one is cut the bottom piece is cut at three and three quarters by three and a half, and then this little piece is cut at one half by three and one quarter. So we're going to put those together. Now, I was going to stamp these tiny flowers on here, but they're, they're really too big. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put some bling across there. You know I like to put my bling on anyway. That's just a good excuse for me to put bling. I might even have some bling that is that looks like flowers. I'm not sure, but we will see. All right, so let's put that right there. And then we'll put these side pieces down and just kind of even them up with that center one. Keep in mind that our we are shipping art glitter glue to the places that are still not freezing. I know there's still some places out there that's still having some snow and cold weather. 
and we had some cold weather the first of the week, but today it's warm and sunny. So right there, just like that. I think that's cute. And now we're going to put a mat right here. And now this mat I cut so it would stand up a little bit taller than what that step is. This one I cut at one and a quarter by three and a half. And then the front part I cut at one by three and a quarter. Alright, I'm going to put that down. And I do believe I am going to stamp on this. Let me see. Yeah, I probably should have stamped on it before I put it down, but I just had an afterthought. So I think we can still do that. Oops, stick my finger in the ink. over here so that I can stamp off just a little bit. There we go. So we're going to put that one down right there. I put it down right above that score line because I don't want to interfere with that score line. So we've got that much like that and then we're going to map back here so that you can put a sentiment on there if you want to. This back mat is cut at three and a half by four. This one is cut at three and a quarter by three and three quarters. Again all of these measurements will be on my blog. I know I have people say you say that so fast, I can't write out everything down. You can pause the video and write it down. I know you know that. But um, it's just easier if you go over and just copy it off my blog. Alright. And then I'm just going to take this little butterfly. And I've got... ink him up put him right there and then I'll put another one down here these are stamps that I haven't drug out in forever all right, there we go. Got two little butterflies. I hope I got them flying the right way. I think I do. So we'll cover that up so I don't stick my finger in it again. And then we're going to put this, we're going to glue that right down there. And then you still have plenty of room to write your sentiment. Whoops, I don't know why I put glue all the way up to the top of that. I didn't need to. There we go. So we will stick that down right there. I'm going to make sure I wipe this off so that it doesn't stick to something. So there we are so far. Isn't that cute? Now, let's see. I've got some more things I want to do. I 
All right, we got some of these flowers in our April kit, and these are from Prima, and they're a beautiful gold, and then a cream colored with gold uh, in the center. And I think I'm going to put some of these right here. I just think that gold and that tan will look good. I think I'm just going to stagger them back and forth and let those little ones show from the back. I'm going to use my glue dots to put these on because I can move them around a little bit when I put them down with glue dots. Now, I punched out a couple of butterflies that are the same color as this background paper but I want them to be more the color of this so I'm just going to color them. This is the Wink of Stella in the uh, dark pink so I'm just going to color them up with Wink of Stella. There we go. I'm going to lay those right there and let them dry just a moment. Now I have some tiny little flowers that I've had in my stash for a while and they have the little bling in the center. And I'm going to put a couple of those around in some different places and I'm going to use my glue dots to do that. Alright, so we have that. I'm going to put something on this to hold it down just a second. I'm going to put a couple of these flowers on the either end here. Alright, afterthought. I am going to stamp this right there, hopefully. If I don't, I'll cut out another piece of this paper, the exact same size, stamp it, and then put it over the top. But this is from one of May May's stamp sets it says just to say that's the stamp set and this just says uh, for being there so we're gonna try our best to stamp that on there let me see I need a square block use this and I'm gonna use the same memento ink in rosebud and I'm going to stamp that on there, hopefully. There we go. That worked, surprisingly enough. Now we're going to put a couple of little flowers on each end. Right there. And all of this that I'm putting on here is flat, so this is still going to go in a regular envelope to be mailed. No problem there. And then we're going to put our butterflies on and we're going to be finished. So, I am going to attach this little guy right up here at the top. So I attached him right there. Looks like he's flying around. And then, hmm, not sure where I want the other one. Let me close it up and look at it. I'm not sure that I'm even going to put the other one on there. I kind of like that. I don't want to get too much, but I kind of like it that way. Started to put him up here. Look in the camera. I don't know. That don't look too bad. All right, we'll put this other one right up here. There we go. And that looks like it might be our card. Let's see if we need to do anything else. 
I'm going to take our Nouveau Glitter Drops and I'm going to put a few little drops on here. These will dry clear, but they'll leave the glitter behind. Okay, so that is the card. And it is a center stepper card. It will close up and go into a regular envelope. But when your recipient gets it, look how pretty. And then you can write your sentiment up here. So let's lay it this way so you can see it. I think that is adorable. And you can put anything you want on here. You don't have to put what I put on there. You can put anything on there. They're not hard to make at all. And I think you will enjoy making one. If you do, please share it on our Facebook group. That link will be below as well. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and when that little bell pops up, click on that bell so that you'll be notified when we put up a new video. And if you don't mind, share our videos. We appreciate it, and we will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.